what's up beautiful people it's your boy Gideo and i'm back again with a new video today we're going to be reacting to a look inside russia's kremlin it's my first time watching this video it's from the richest channel i'll put the link in the description in case you want to go check them out i'm excited to get into this one so without wasting your time let's check it out the Kremlin is one of the most fortified royal complexes in the world. Its buildings contain more That's than beautiful. a billion dollars worth of treasure. It's surrounded by over 1.5 miles of walls up to 21 feet thick. 21 Since feet 1991, thick. it's been the official residence of Russia's president. The Kremlin has areas open to the public, but also plenty of secret royal rooms, especially in the Grand Palace. Ready for a tour of Moscow's star attraction? Then let's head inside the iconic Russian compound. The walls of the Kremlin are protected by 20 defensive towers, but tourists are allowed to enter through the Trinity Tower. Some of these towers are rumored to have secret tunnels beneath them that were once used as dungeons. Let's walk around and explore while we head for the star attraction, the president's personal palace. On our left is the arsenal, housing military trophies and weapons worth billions of dollars. Across the way is the State Kremlin Palace, an event theater with over 800 rooms. Built in 1961, it's the Kremlin's newest building. To keep <laughs> the building short, built in 1961 is the newest building. Part of its structure is hidden 16 meters underground. This is the heart of the Kremlin complex, Cathedral Square, where you'll find chapels as well as historic relics like the 16th century Tsar bell and 40 ton Tsar cannon. But the most famous building in the square is the Ivan the Great Bell Tower, which is now a museum chronicling the Kremlin's construction. But this is the main attraction, the Grand Kremlin Palace. It's 124 meters long, 47 meters high, and has a total area of 25,000 square meters. It houses the secret rooms of the Tsars of the past. The palace forms a rectangle with an inner courtyard, and it's actually two stories tall, though it appears to be three. The upper floor has two sets of windows. Let's head into the first part of this epic building, which contains a vast collection of Russian treasures. This is the armory. Check out all the ancient weapons, armor, and ceremonial clothing. The value of the items in this room is more than one billion dollars. Just check out this iconic piece of history, the Great Imperial Crown. In 1920, it was estimated to be worth 52 million dollars. It's decorated with more than 5,000 gems, totaling 2,858 carats. Here's the famous double throne that belonged to Tsars Ivan and Peter. Considered to be priceless, the throne has a secret compartment in the back where its Tsar's mentor would hide to give the young rulers advice. There's a long private passageway at the back of this hall of royal treasures. Want to see where it goes? This is the first home of the Russian royal family, the Terem Palace. We're in the antechamber where people would wait for their meeting with the Tsar before going into the assembly. It's so beautiful inside. See the artwork, the designs, the... I don't know, it's like everything is made out of gold. It's just so clean inside. The throne room is also here with the Tsar's red armchair in the corner. As you can see, the Tsar definitely had a love for gilded gold and rich royal colors. Yeah. In fact, the Romanov family who once lived here had unbelievable wealth. In today's terms, it's estimated to be between 250 and 300 billion dollars. <laughs> it's rumored the palace has a secret library beneath it that belonged to Ivan the Terrible, but only caved in passageways have been discovered so far. This part of the Grand Palace building is five stories. Its basement contains cells and storerooms. There are workshops for garment creation on the first floor, and the second and third floor are where you'll find the royal family's personal rooms. The Tsarina and her children had bedrooms on the third floor, while the Tsar's personal apartments consist is in mint condition, very well taken care of. of five adjoining rooms are on the fourth floor. The fifth floor features a gilded roof and upper stone courtyard, offering incredible views of the Kremlin. But let's head to the next part of the palace, the faceted chamber, which holds the imperial throne. The staircase we just descended is guarded by gold lion statues, thought to protect the Tsar's family. A secret passage used to store treasure was once discovered under this room, connecting it to the Annunciation Cathedral. This golden reception room was built by Ivan III in 1490. You can see a discreet window locking down into the chamber. This is where the Tsar's wife used to watch over the events. At the end of the corridor are the private rooms of President Putin, who is estimated to be worth about $70 billion. 
Commissioned by Nicholas I in 1838, the Grand Palace is the largest structure in the Kremlin. It cost 11 million rubles to build, about $150,000 at the time, but more than 1 billion to renovate in the 1990s. Let's check out the palace's dazzling reception halls. This round walkthrough hall is in the center of the palace. It's dedicated to the Order of Vladimir and is lit by a grand skylight, while a gilded bronze chandelier offers light in the evening. That's in fact, beautiful. each hall is dedicated to a different order and features the grandest gold architecture you could ever imagine. These are the opulent golden doors to St. Andrew's Hall. If I get to spend a night here, I'm not leaving anymore. I'm just going to take all my property and keep them here permanently. I'm not leaving. See how beautiful and clean everything is. Inside, there are three golden thrones. This is the St. George Hall, the largest of the ceremonial halls. It features six giant bronze chandeliers and a floor made of more than 20 different types of wood. Gilded gold doors brings us to Alexander Hall. It's glistening with gold, especially its opulently decorated ceiling and the floor, which is meant to resemble a woven carpet. Last but not least is the Catherine Hall, named after the only female Russian order. It was once the throne room of the Russian empresses and features more gilded chandeliers, ornaments, and thin crystal candelabras. Honestly, our eyes kind of hurt from looking at all that glistening gold, but the Kremlin isn't Russia's only royal residence. There's also the Winter Palace, valued at $6.4 billion. We hope you enjoyed the tour. Thanks for watching. Wow. <laughs> if I was to go there for just one day, I'm not leaving. Like, they have to drag me out of that place. It's just so beautiful, the gold everywhere. You can't have problems when you live in a place like that. No, you, you can't have problems. Just sleep, wake up, look at the gold, drink coffee, go back to sleep, wake up, look at your gold. You know, that's how you chill in a place like that. <laughs> that's a very good video, very, very nice. Wow, let me know what you guys think. And I think it's also cool that Putin lets um, tourists go check out the place too, so they can also experience what he experiences on a daily basis. That's beautiful. I like that. Let me know what you guys think of that video. If you want us to bring more like this to the channel, feel free to request, recommend. Talk to me in the comment section so we can check out some more nice ones. This is the end of this video. Also, he said there's a winter palace. If you want us to check out that one, let me know in the comment section. This is the end of this video. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a very wonderful day. Peace.